Story 9. The Art of Delegation In this story, I endeavor to share with you tips which, if well utilized, can transform any business person from a Mr. Do-It-All to a big entrepreneur that is leveraging people and networks. In the end, you will find that every business is bigger than the entrepreneur and has the capacity to involve and impact so many people, employees, business partners, customers, and entire communities. This is why learning to delegate is important. My experience has taught me that a small business will remain just that, small, unless the owner learns to assign some tasks to other people who can handle them while he or she concentrates on bigger tasks that will quicken its growth. If we pay close attention, we will see that some of our time is wasted on activities that either do not matter or could have been done by others. The more we outgrow that stage, the less we hinder the growth of our businesses and the faster they grow. Often, small business owners do everything from paying the cleaner to rushing to deposit the check at the bank. In the end, you find you are as tired as someone who has run a 50-kilometer marathon. At the beginning of a business, it is all right and understandable to multitask. But as you begin to grow, you must be able to set yourself free and let others take over some of these responsibilities. It is a good thing to make sure that everything is running well, but trying to do it all by yourself might jeopardize both your health and your business. When the entire business hinges on you, everything is limited to your abilities and weaknesses. If you are weak in marketing, it means sales will be low. If you are weak in handling finances, it means finances will be grossly mismanaged. If you are weak at interpersonal skills, it means the relationship within your business, staff and customers will hang in a dicey balance. Applying the principle of delegation helps to get things moving without your direct involvement. The principle applies not only to business enterprises, but also to any other organization. I know how hard it is to let go especially when you trust your ability to do something. To make matters worse, sometimes the people you delegate to fail. Sometimes the people you delegate to fail to deliver as expected. But with time, they will learn to do it well and you will relax and watch things happen. Having started Hostelite single-handedly, as the director, salesperson, cashier, ETC, I struggled to look I struggled a lot to let go of some of the duties even when the company had grown to 10 plus employees. But because I wanted my company to grow further, I had to learn to delegate and now I am enjoying the fruits. I can travel for a week and not worry that work will come to a standstill at my company. My friend, if doing too many things has been your challenge, I urge you to start delegating as much as you can. Simply give some of your tasks to other people who you work with and see how they handle them. You may be surprised that they can even do some of these tasks better than you.